I'm going to show you how to upload a profile picture to the Firebase storage when you create a new Firebase user account. By the end of this episode, you're going to build an app like this. Let's get started. I have written a detailed article about Firebase storage in case if you need it and the link is in the description below. All right. The first step is to create a signup and profile view. In this index.html, I have linked to the semantic UI, which is a CSS framework I like, but feel free to use your favorite instead. Inside the body tags, you can see I have two sections. One is for the signup view with an ID signup hyphen view, and the other one is for the profile view with an ID profile hyphen view. These two views can be toggled based on whether there is a logged in user or not. As you can see, the HTML markups have some semantic UI classes. Please do not worry about them as they just make the view look good, but it's not that important in this app. Okay. In the signup view, I have three input fields email, password, and the file. The email and password fields have IDs in them. The file input has been attached to the onChange event with a callback function called chooseFile with an argument event. Then attach a click event to the signup button with the callback function called signup button pressed. In the profile view, I have an image element with an ID IMG and it has a placeholder image in it. Also, I have a sign up button attached to the click event with the callback function sign up button pressed. Pretty straightforward. Run the application and the two views are nicely laid out. Let's create a new file called app.js in the same directory as the index.html. Then link it to the index.html file before the end of the closing body tag. In there, I'm going to define the two functions, choose file and sign up button pressed. Then I'm going to get a DOM reference to the elements at the top using their IDs. The first two are the profile view and the sign up view sections. Then the email and the password. Finally, the image element. Let's take a look at how to get a file from the user using choose file function. When a user selects a file, we can capture it using the event object in the choose file function. But that event object is only available inside choose file, but we will need the actual file inside the sign up button pressed function. So I'm going to define a variable called file above the choose file function and set its value to an empty object. Then inside the choose file function, get the actual file and its information using the event object that is passed into as a parameter and assign it to the variable file. So file equals e.target.files, opening and closing square brackets, zero in it. The next step is to initialize Firebase to the project. To initialize Firebase, we need to add configuration code to our application, which we can get it from the Firebase console. Let's go ahead and grab the configuration code. So log in to your Firebase account, then click on the gear icon at the top next to the project overview, then choose project settings. Scroll down to the page and you can find the configuration code at the bottom. If you do not see the screen, click on the web icon which will bring the add Firebase to your web app page, then give it a name and hit register app. That will provide you with the configuration code that you can add it to your project to initialize Firebase. So copy the first script link from the code snippet 
and add it to the bottom of the index.html file above the app.js file. Then grab the configuration code in between the second script tags and paste it inside app.js file at the top like so. If you look at the configuration code snippet in the Firebase console, at the top it says add SDKs for the products that you want to use. For this app, I'll be using authentication and storage SDKs. To add them quickly, I'm going to copy the first Firebase SDK script element and paste it twice under it. Then replace the first one from app to auth and the second one from app to storage. At this stage, Firebase is successfully added to our project. The next step is to create a brand new user account. There are multiple ways to create a new Firebase account, but I'm going to stick with the email password one for simplicity sake. Before using this method, we need to enable it from the Firebase console. So go to the authentication page, select sign in methods tab, then enable the email slash password option. To create a new account, call create user with email and password method on the Firebase auth object inside the sign up button pressed function. This takes two arguments, which are username and password. So inside the parenthesis type email dot value comma p word dot value this will return a promise so i'm going to run the then method on it with the callback function if a new account is created the auth parameter in the callback function will have information about a currently logged in user let's add the catch method with the callback function as well to catch any error then console log the error using error.message like so. The next step is to enable Firebase storage. So go to the Firebase storage from the left sidebar and hit get started. As you can see, the cloud storage security rule is set to only authenticated users can read and write data by default, but I will change it later. Click next. Then it gives us a warning saying that once the Firebase cloud storage bucket is created, the physical location of it cannot be changed. Click done. At this stage, the cloud storage dashboard looks like this with no files or folders in it. Before uploading a file to the cloud storage, let's structure the files in a way that only authenticated users can upload and download their own profile images. Here is my structure. First, I'm going to create a folder called users, then create another folder inside it using the users UID as a folder name. Inside that, I'll be storing the actual profile image with the fixed name profile.jpg. I'm assuming that I'll be uploading only JPEG files just for simplicity sake. Now we know how the structure will look like when we upload a file. Let's write a security rule for that. Go to the rules tab in the storage page, then replace the existing match function to this. This rule says logged in users can only upload and download profile images to their own folder that has their UID name on it. In other words, this rule gives any user read and write permission to the location path slash user slash curly braces UID slash profile image as long as the logged in user's UID, which is request.auth.uid, matches with the UID, which is referring to the placeholder mentioned in the location path. Step six upload profile image now we have security rule in place let's upload a profile picture to the cloud storage once a new user account is created so inside the then callback function of the create user with email and password 
where I have an auth object available, create an instant of Firebase storage. So Firebase.storage, opening and closing parenthesis, then run ref method on it. This is where I'm going to add the location path as an argument. So inside the quotes, I'm going to say users slash then plus operator the actual UID auth dot user dot UID plus inside the quotes slash profile dot JPEG. Perfect. To upload the actual file, call the put method on it with an actual file as an argument. This will return a promise. So call the then and catch methods on it with the callback functions. I'm going to console log in both cases. Let's run the application. And I got the successfully uploaded message. Great. Let's go to the authentication tab and I can see a brand new user has been added in there. Switch to the storage page and you can see it has a users folder then another folder with the name uid under users folder and the profile image nice step seven download the image url now let's see how to get an appropriate profile picture url when a user is signed in i'm going to define the method called on auth state changed on the auth object this method will be called every time a user is signed up, signed in, or signed out. So after the sign up button pressed function, Firebase.auth.onAuth state changed. And this will take a callback function and the user object is passed in the parameter of it if there is one. If the user is logged in, get the image url so firebase dot storage ref users then the uid and the profile image then the method we want to use to get the actual file url is get download url like so this will also return a promise so call then method on it with a callback function in this callback function we can get the actual file url specified in the parameter called image url let's set the url to the image element image.src equals image url nice it works Finally, hide the sign up view if a user is already logged in and show the profile view in there. Then in the else case, show the sign up view and hide the profile view. Nice. The final step is going to be adding sign out functionality, which is super easy. Inside the sign out button pressed function, all we have to do is to call sign out method on the auth object. Let's run the application and the sign out will bring the sign up view back. Nice. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel so that you can get more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.